What's up, y'all? I'm DJ Trife, and this is a special installment of Trife Trap Meals. That's right, we're trapping with Trife today. And I love to teach you guys how to trap our, you know, multiple bays, our different bays, our bougie bays, our well travel bays, our boozy bays. But today, we're trapping Baked Bay. And this is gonna get good. See, right around 420, Baked Bay has his Christmas. It's his Easter. It's Baked Bay's birthday. And today I'm gonna show you how to make sure Baked Bay is celebrating the best way that they can. So we're gonna do two things that Bay's love. Mac and cheese, and I can't shout them out because they didn't write me a check, but y'all see the bottle. We're gonna do, you cannot laugh on set. <laughs> this special episode we're gonna do some of Tripe's favorites in a special way um see it's a couple things that they love and that's this cognac and mac and cheese you can't go wrong honestly you can't do wrong so I'm gonna show you how I do my special mac and cheese I start with a little smoked gouda a whole stick of butter some fresh mozzarella you know it got to be a little creamy and stringy I do 12 month age extra, extra sharp cheddar, some Havari cheese, some of y'all don't even know what that is, that's okay, I'ma put you on game, and some rosemary. See, rosemary is, is very fragrant, it's almost, you could almost call it an aromatic, but it's gonna work very well with our herbs. After that, we are going to infuse some of our favorite cognac. I, I know y'all know what this is. Um, like I said, I'm not shouting them out. They ain't wrote me no check, cut a check, shouted me out, tagged me on Instagram. Um, nonetheless, we're still gonna use it. It's gonna be amazing. This is the art of trapping in the kitchen. Let's get started. We already know, if it ain't trife, it ain't right. Okay, so before we get started, the first thing you have to do is decarb your herbs. Um, most of the THC in our favorite herbs, um, it's inactive. And in order to activate it, we have to, you know, we gotta do some little work to it. We gotta massage it, AKA we need to bake it. You need to throw that in the oven for about 45 minutes. I do about 30, depending on how cheap your is, you can change it up a little bit. Um, but really 30 minutes at about 250 is all you need to do. I've already done that, I've already started it. If you don't know how to turn on the oven, you should just change the channel. We have our lovely herbs. Um, and they're baked, as you can see, like bay. Um, it, you, they get this nice little brown color to them. That's perfect, something that you can like, you know, break down very easily. So after you do this, you if you were going to use it for the liquor mixture, there's one track that we're going to do for that. And then for the mac and cheese, we need to take it and we're going to put it with our butter and we're going to put it on the stove for about mm, 30 minutes and kind of just let that activate. Now, I'm just going to let some people know if you in an apartment, um, if you stay in your mama's basement, um, it's going to be loud, like loud, unless you got some cheap and that's just a whole different episode. So once you've activated the love or THC, um, you gotta add it to the butter. So if you're gonna bake with it, if you're going to add it to any type of food, usually butter is the easiest way. Last Thanksgiving, we did an herb infused turkey and it was with the butter. Um, so you can pretty much do a lot of things. Now when we get ready to do the, the, the cognac, um, it's a little bit different. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I have a pot on the stove, I'm gonna cut it on, um, at a low, low temperature, we don't want to burn the oil, um, AKA the butter. I'm going to take my entire stick of butter, throw that in there, get all of that goodness. And then um, we're going to split half of this. This is for the, the cognac. So you want to check on your butter every now and then you, you know, it'll start to turn a dark brown. That's when you know it's, it's getting there and your house will start to get a little loud. Um, that's how you know it. it's, it's almost right. But you really need to let this go for at least 
30 minutes. Um, up to an hour is pretty cool. And uh, let's check this out. So while that's going, we are going to reconcern ourselves with this lovely cognac. So in order to do the cognac, you have to first activate it, which we've done, um, to activate the THC, and then you have to strip it. Um, you have to get that good THC off of the plant. You need a high proof alcohol. A great example is some grain alcohol. I ain't shouting out a name, but y'all know that bottom bear shit that's in a plastic can behind the liquor store. If you, if you don't know, just go into the liquor store and be like, give me the bottom. Uh, that's what you need. You only need about a fourth of a cup or even less than that uh, to, to shake it up and strip the oil. Once you've done that, you can pretty much mix it in anything you want. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is get my grain alcohol. And we only need about, I would say, a fourth of a cup. This is a half cup, but I'm just gonna pour some in there. If you can't measure, log off. So, boom. We're gonna throw it in our shaker, just like that. And then I'm going to take, I'm gonna crush this up a little bit. Get this out the way. I'm gonna crush this up a little bit. Crush it, crush it, crush it. Uh, and we're just gonna throw this all in there. Just like that. Boom, so we got it. And you're gonna shake. Um, you need to do this for like 10 minutes, low key. Off a bay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. See. We're gonna do that again. This is enough for a 750 size of cognac. So you're just gonna take this entire thing and we're gonna pour it into our cognac. And you see it already has that nice color to it. So boom. So, as we have our little love potion here, I just wanna let you guys know, this thing is very simple, and it's two of our favorite things. All you gotta do, bake it, strip it, mix it. And this is the last little part of the mixing process. And once you have that, you now have your love potion. <laughs> so, uh, let's get drinking. Y'all wanna try this? In the magic of television, my pasta's done. So, we got that going. We're gonna throw our nice little pasta here. And when you, when you do your pasta, make sure you add a little salt to the water. You gotta salt that water. Um, if, you've ever, if you've ever been to the beach, some of y'all are basic, maybe have not, um, it should be salted like seawater. You know when you get in the water and it, that's what it should, that's what it should taste like. So we're just gonna. So we're gonna put our oven on about 355, 65, 70. And it really depends on your oven. Some of y'all have gas, some of y'all have electric, some of y'all don't have stoves. Um, and we're gonna start with, I have my smoked Gouda here. And I like to do like the big chunks. So we're gonna throw this smoked Gouda in here. Boom. I also have my 12 month age sharp cheddar. I have my hook. Havari, Havati, it got a T in it, so it's, I don't, do we, do we say the T? Does anybody know, do we say the T? Havati, it's Havati. It's like salmon. Do you say the L? Only basic the L. Can I have the salmon, please? And the mozzarella to help us get a little stringiness. Boom, and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, uh, what is this? My fresh rosemary. Little egg, and I have some cream. Um, you can't go wrong with creamy your mac and cheese. Don't nobody like no dry nothing. There's <laughs> a couple people over there that I'm laughing at. So I'm gonna just throw some of this cream in here, just like that. Uh, we don't need no more. Um, if you real fancy, you could, you know, do that whole little boom egg crack. Some of y'all, you know, you gotta do the two-handed. The goal is just to not have any, you know, egg in your mixture. Grab me a fork. I probably can't mix in that, so we're gonna slide that over like that. And we're gonna whisk our eggs up real quick. 
Now, a lot of people like to add like all these seasonings, all seasoning salts like Laurie's or even some salt and pepper, but cheese actually has a lot of salt in it and a lot of flavor. So if you use some good cheese, some good quality cheese, you won't need to add all that extra to it, to be honest, to be true, you know. So we're gonna put this egg mixture in here as well. And we're gonna pour this heavy cream. And we're just gonna mix this up. So all of this needs to bake for about 20 minutes at about, you know, 300, uh, 350, 375. All right, so we gotta get this mac and cheese out. We're gonna give it a quick stir, add some of our love to the pot, and uh, you know, finish it off. I wanna make sure I get all of the love, and I'm just gonna slowly pour that. I just added a little bit of salt and pepper and some of my favorite shredded cheese. You know, pick whatever you want. Some of y'all gonna go crazy. Some of y'all gonna add too much. That's okay, you just won't be trapped. So we're gonna put this back in the oven to kind of brown it for another 15 or so. Uh, just kind of keep checking on it, make sure the cheese has a nice little covering and um, once that's done, you'll be ready. I usually leave this in a little bit longer so that it browns a little bit better, however, this really isn't about the brown cheese. So, I'm gonna grab my measuring cup, grab a little fork, and I'm gonna kinda turn this under a little bit. Get a nice little portion of, oh look at that, by the grace of God. And I'm gonna just place this right here, smack dab in the center, press it down just a little bit, and then pull it up. Now look at that. That's it. It's lit. So we're gonna start with this rosemary. You can take a little bit of it, just to put it across the top, just like that. Look at that. And I'm gonna take a little bit of, the, little bit of parsley, Everyone here seems to be enjoying this wonderful mac and cheese. Uh, we would like to tell you to err on the side of caution. Uh, I wouldn't recommend a whole cup anymore. Probably a half. Um, so the person who kind of helped me out today was the happy cookie DC at gmail.com. That is the happy cookie DC at gmail.com. Don't ask his name, just get what you need. Uh, hit him up on Gmail. He will tell you a little bit more about the, the science that goes into all this. But hey, until next time, make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow me, and I'll see you in another episode of Trife Trap Meals, the art of trapping in the kitchen.